One of the most surprising and positive news of the month was the strong job growth in April. The U. Economy added 253,000 jobs, beating Wall Street expectations and showing resilience despite challenges such as inflation, interest rates and banking crisis. This was the fourth consecutive month of job gains, and the fastest pace since August 2020. The unemployment rate also fell to 5.8%, the lowest level since March 2020. What sectors contributed to this impressive job growth? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the leisure and hospitality industry added 331,000 jobs, as more people resumed traveling and dining out. The education sector also saw a boost of 144,000 jobs, as schools reopened and hired more teachers and staff. Other industries that added jobs include professional and business services, health care and social assistance transportation and warehousing, and manufacturing. However, not all sectors fared well in April. The construction industry lost 111,000 jobs, mainly due to bad weather and supply chain disruptions. The retail trade sector also shed 49,000 jobs, as consumers shifted their spending from goods to services. And the government sector lost 48,000 jobs, mostly at the local level. Despite the overall positive picture, there are still some challenges and uncertainties facing the U. Economy One of them is inflation, which rose to 4.2% in April, the highest level since 2008. This was driven by higher prices for energy, food, housing, transportation, and other goods and services. Some economists argue that this is a temporary phenomenon caused by supply bottlenecks and pent-up demand and that inflation will moderate as the economy recovers. Others warn that inflation could persist and erode the purchasing power of consumers and businesses. Another challenge is interest rates, which affect the cost of borrowing and investing. The Federal Reserve has kept its benchmark interest rate near zero since March 2020 and has pledged to maintain it until the economy reaches full employment and inflation stabilizes at 2%. However, some investors and analysts are worried that the Fed may have to raise interest rates sooner than expected to combat inflation and prevent the economy from overheating. This could have negative consequences for the stock market, the housing market, and the debt market. A third challenge is banking crisis, which refers to a situation where banks face liquidity or solvency problems due to losses or defaults on their loans or investments. The U banking system has been relatively stable and resilient during the pandemic, thanks to the regulatory reforms and capital requirements implemented after the 2008 financial crisis. However, there are still some risks and vulnerabilities that could trigger a banking crisis in the future. For example, if interest rates rise sharply or inflation spirals out of control, banks could face higher costs of funding and lower profitability. If borrowers default on their mortgages or business loans due to economic hardship or bankruptcy, banks could face higher losses and lower asset quality. If investors lose confidence in the banking system or the government's ability to support it, banks could face a run on deposits or a credit crunch. In conclusion, the U. Economy added 253,000 jobs in April beating Wall Street expectations and showing resilience despite challenges such as inflation, interest rates and banking crisis. This was a positive sign for the economic recovery and the labor market. However, there are still some headwinds and uncertainties that could affect the future course of the economy. Therefore, it is important to monitor the economic indicators closely and be prepared for any changes or shocks that may arise. One of the most surprising aspects of the April jobs report was the decline in the unemployment rate. The unemployment rate measures the percentage of people who are actively looking for work but cannot find it. In April, the unemployment rate dipped to 3.4%, matching a 54-year low. This sounds like good news, but there is a catch. The unemployment rate only counts people who are in the labor force, meaning they are either working or looking for work. If someone gives up on finding a job and stops searching, they are no longer counted as unemployed. In April, 
43,000 people left the labor force, which means they either retired, went back to school, or became discouraged by the lack of opportunities. This reduced the number of unemployed people, but it also reduced the number of people who could potentially work and contribute to the economy. So while the unemployment rate may look impressive, it does not tell the whole story of how the U. Economy slowed down but still added 253,000 jobs in April. 